What is up you guys and welcome to Emma Buick's TV show review of Amazon Prime's The Summer I Turned Pretty. And with me today I have special guest Lindsay. Thanks for having me. Wouldn't do this without ya. You could do it without me, but... But I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Anyways, so we're launching right in with episode one of season one. Um, so the intro was like kind of a, a quick smash cut of all of their background, all of their history, really grounded you in the story. What did you think of that intro? Um, it was just like really playing into like summer nostalgia. It oh, was like 100%. hitting you with all the nostalgia. Yes. Because I think we all kind of miss when we were kids, maybe. Oh, maybe not all of us. Oh, a thousand percent. That's what and this I book kind of leans into. Um, and then we open with Taylor helping her pack. Now, book-wise, this never happened. Really? Really. The book opens with them on their way to Cousins. Like in the car or whatever? Like in the car. Okay. Already on their way there. So I felt like this was in character, though. Yeah, I thought it was fine. Yeah, I was fine with her helping her pack. Yeah, I definitely f don't think it was maybe the best choice of intro because it felt very forced to me. Their, okay. Their dialogue felt not very natural at all. Yeah, Especially I can see that. after such a nostalgic backstory. Yeah. It was very jarring as an audience member, but I don't hate that it happened. Yeah. Okay. And so then they're jamming out in the car. And what bothered me a little bit, in the book, Stephen is like, shut up, you guys. And the mom is like, I'm going to start singing, too. And the mom jams in That's with Belly. so cute. And it was so cute. And we didn't get that in the show. Instead, the mom's like, guys, turn it down. And I was like, where's the fun Laurel I have read about? Yeah, Laurel had barely any relationship with her kids. I know. <laughs> this whole show. It made um, me so sad, yeah. but I did feel like it established Laurel's character as kind of being the more strict Very controlled, parent. yes. Yeah. So, yeah. like, what did what did you think of, of that introduction to Laurel? You know, I actually loved that she was sitting in the back seat <laughs> and that she let the kids sit up front, because yeah. we do that with our mom sometimes, yeah. <laughs> it's so great. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that, I don't know that, I mean... I don't know. Because I don't necessarily... She wasn't, like, a not-fun mom. She no. allowed her kids to do fun things. Mm -hmm. She just didn't particularly participate Yeah, in the show. So maybe it was fine. Yeah. Um, uh, I do not mind Belly's relationship with Steven being established more so than her relationship with her mom. Although yeah. I feel like... I don't know that there were hardly any scenes that had her and Steven in them at the same time. I think you're right. I mean, I'm sure they there were a couple. Like there were a couple. I can think of a couple. Off I can the top think of, my of head. a couple, but like for the most part, they did their complete own thing all summer. Which I feel like is kind of how siblings are in general. Not siblings that sit together in the car and sing to music. I don't know. 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 <laughs> um, so then they stop at that gas station to get, like, snacks. Yes. And Belly gets flirted with. Wait, 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 wait. Because let's back up a second. Okay. Be I, was it before she got in the car? Or before she went into the gas station? Or was it after she got out of the gas station? That she has her ponytail moment? <laughs> oh, that's after. That's okay, after. Okay, never mind then. Um, so <laughs> she gets flirted with at the gas station and I felt like this was a really good introduction mm -hmm. to, oh, she's prettier now. But I thought it was super annoying and cliche. Mm, I don't know. I don't feel like gas station employees, even if they are your age, are probably going to flirt with you very much. Yeah. For the most part. I mean, I could be wrong. But that guy did kind of seem like a skis, so. Oh, 100%. He seemed like a skis. Was he in the books as often as he was in the TV show? Okay. He was not, he was not a character in the books at all. Because he was like fairly reoccurring in the TV show. He only show. recurred once. Twice. Twice. I thought it was twice. When was the second time? I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was twice. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it was once, so you're entitled to your wrong opinion. Anyway. No, because didn't he flirt with Laurel at that one bar? He did. He did. Oh, he you're did. right. 
I was I'm yeah. wrong. I'm sorry. I won't say that very often. So <laughs> note that now. Um the hair moment. Yes. I I that's very if, if anything is cliche, that's the most cliche thing in the whole first episode at least. Maybe not the whole show, but at least the whole first episode, a lot of kids, you included, <laughs> wore ponytail <laughs> their entire middle school career and then finally had moments where they learned how to fix their hair a little bit better than just throwing it in a ponytail this was definitely her ponytail <laughs> moment where she ditches the middle school ponytail and now she's growing up and wearing her hair down but i also call me out made, Jesus. <laughs> made me think one of my friends had a mom that said one time that when her daughter was in middle school she wanted nothing more than her daughter to wear her hair down because she wore her hair up all the time, which with all like with a headband of some kind. Mm-hmm. Back in the way back in the day, it was like there was a pre wrap fad for a while where you oh, wore yeah. pre wrap instead As of a headband. headband. But yeah, very middle school, very cliche ponytail headband combo. And her mom was like, I always used to wish she wore her hair down. And then as she got older, she got into high school, she wore her hair down every single day. And then her mom was like, now I just wish she would wear it up because I think it looks pretty when it's out of her face. And I just thought that was so interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Um, But anyway, so the honking was perfect. Mm -hmm. They did two honks. That was literally verbatim how they did it in the books. Really? Yes. I was... I was watching that scene with, like, intensity. I was like, they better honk twice. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> oh, I was paying attention. Uh, and then he says the glasses line. I like you better with glasses. Too bad. I like me better without them. I liked you better with glasses. And she says, well, I like too me better bad. without. I, quote, too bad. I like me better without them. And that was also verbatim in the book. I liked that. I, I didn't mind that. it. Uh, I, I thought that was a very clever way to address the cliche of I'm prettier without glasses. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. I, I liked that they addressed it and didn't just brush it aside. I appreciate that you said that because I hadn't even considered the glasses thing. I had only 1000% considered my, not me personally, but a girl's opinion of herself through a guy's eyes. Because mm. so many girls, if, if a guy, if the guy that they liked said, I like you better with glasses, they would be like, oh, Guess I'll wear glasses for the rest of my life. Yes. So I was so proud of her for being able to be like, well, this is what I want for me. Even though she's had a like obsessive crush on this man for Mm -hmm. years, evidently. Um, and then they did the belly flop. That was perfect. Oh, Um, they they threw threw her in the pool. pool. Um, First impressions for me as a viewer. mm Mm-hmm. When I very first saw Jeremiah, I was like, this one is the cuter one. I a thousand percent (laughs) agree with you. You can end your sentence there. But as the show went on, I flip-flopped back and forth a lot. Okay, belly. (laughs) Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I confidently picked Jeremiah from the beginning, (laughs) and I stand by that. Even in the books, I am a Jeremiah stan. (laughs) Is she going to end up with Jeremiah? Probably not. Early on, you asked me, which brother do you like better? And I was like, what are you? So you, you said, are you team Conrad or team Jeremiah? And I was like, Jeremiah? Who's Jeremiah? I like, she said I thought to me. she dated someone else. I didn't know Jeremiah was even going to be in the picture, to be honest. Yeah. I did question, like, how how did she have this massive crush on one of them and not both of them? Yeah. But I I really genuinely thought it was going to be Conrad and then an outside boy, which there was an outside boy. Yes, Cam there Cameron, was. Came for a while, but then not for very long. And yeah. then Jeremiah. And I was like, whoa, I did not know that. It was a surprise to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then she also has that polar bear with the sunglasses, the stuffed animal. That she that calls was Junior Mint. weird to me. It was weird. Is there a backstory in the books? Yes. Th- they give a whole backstory for Junior Mint in the books. Okay. Um, but basically, Conrad won it for her. Oh, that's cute. Um, I didn't... They Did they even say that? No. But I appreciated that I'm they included angry. Junior Mint, even if they didn't include Junior Mint's backstory. Mm. I needed the backstory. I it was appreciated weird that the me. bear was there, at least. As a viewer who's not read the books, I was like, that is super weird. <laughs> yeah. I could see that. I it could see really where weird. that would be weird. I was like, what a weird 
addition to this <laughs> random this is random this teddy random bear, doing bear. Here. What is going on anyways um also or very like within the first 10 minutes of the show mm-hmm. they mentioned boobs way too many times that's because it's a big thing in the books boobs yeah, that she got boobs. She did not have boobs. She did not. In the show, I will say, in the show, she did not have boobs. In the books, it was a big thing that she had gotten boobs. And that was like, hmm. they kept mentioning like, oh, but your boobs are going to look so good in this. Or this dress will really highlight your boobs. Like, Taylor said that a lot. Or like, I don't know. It was it was a bigger thing in the books. In the show, like she legitimately did not have boobs. She was as flat chested as me. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I didn't know what they were talking about, um, but I did. I appreciated the mention of it, even if the character did not have that. Well, I guess if it was a big things in the books, I will excuse it. But I'm super glad they didn't go with that because I don't think you need boobs to be pretty. You do not. And if that's the message that we're giving girls, <sighs> yeah. all of a sudden the summer you turned pretty is just because you got boobs. That's not the summer you turned pretty. That's the summer men started objectifying you. Oh, hot take. Anyways, um, so Jeremiah, he's the jokester. He's her best friend. Mm -hmm. And I thought they did him a thousand percent better than in the books. Oh, really? Yes. Because it's emphasized that he's a jokester, but it's emphasized later on in the book than in... What kind of a jokester do you mean? Like, just like funny, fun, like always in a positive mood, yeah. like always kind of messing but around. But not like a practical jokester? No. Okay. No. Just he was a happy-go-lucky kind of kid. Yeah. yeah he yeah. was like that for sure. Um, so I really liked... I liked Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. I loved Jeremiah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so then she's walking down the beach with mm-hmm. Jeremiah, right? And she like... This felt so forced to me. She mentions her parents' divorce. I was g- I wrote that down. I was like, wow, that was very personal, very quick. All of a sudden, we're just talking about divorced parents and relationship statuses. Yeah. I, I felt like that was a very shoehorned in conversation to get Laurel's divorce on mm. everyone's mind. Especially with Jeremiah. Yeah. It's, yeah, because that He's bugged me too. He's supposed to be the happy one. Well, and... That seems like a more Conrad conversation. Well, and it seems like something she would have already told him, or he would already right. know. Right, did they not talk ever? That's... Only in the summers? They don't have each other's phone numbers? I know they do because they texted each other plenty of times throughout yes, the whole show. Yes, they did. Although I'm not sure Jeremiah ever texted her, to be honest. Maybe she only has Conrad's number. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I didn't, I didn't love that conversation. No, me neither. I also didn't like it at all. Okay, okay. Um, and then they introduce the mom as an author. They mentioned a signing earlier, but I was Mm -hmm. confused if they meant she was an author. Yeah. And so then they do establish her as an author. And honestly, I love that they gave her a job. She didn't have one in the books. Not mentioned, at least. Like, it's implied that she has a job, but they what? never explain what it is or what she does or does why Susanna she can take the whole summer off. Doubtful. Doubtful. That's so interesting. I so, was gonna say... I, I love that they gave her a job that she can very clearly take a summer mm-hmm. off and go to a beach house and right, do her job from there. Right, because you can write anywhere, yeah. Um, so I loved that, and I loved... That they just gave her a job in general. Yeah. Um, but then they show her going into that bookshop and making fun of that other author. And I did not like the relationship they were setting up there. That was not in the books. With Cleveland? Cleveland wasn't in the books at all. He was not a character. Her mom had no Her mom relationship had no relationship at all. Hence why I thought she was gonna be a lesbian with Susanna. I can totally... They definitely had a lot of chemistry for sure. For Susanna sure. and Laurel had a lot of chemistry. But I'm so glad they gave us more of that because Mm. I'm not going to, like, first episode, like, right off the bat after meeting everyone, I was like, I kind of feel like Laurel's my favorite character. Maybe it's because I'm old. Yeah. (laughs) I was like, this is embarrassing. My favorite character. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. (laughs) In case it wasn't clear. (laughs) Anyways. Um, but what did you think of the mom being an author? I don't know. I didn't care. Oh, okay. It was... <laughs> All right, fair enough. It could have been anything. 
Um, so then we get the boys talking about working at the country club. Mm -hmm. And what threw me off is that Steven wasn't leaving. Wasn't leaving? Steven was not supposed to be there the entire summer. He wasn't? No. He was supposed to like, go home? He was supposed to go like college hopping with his dad. His dad was supposed to take him on a bunch of college visits and he was supposed to go home. Interesting. He was not supposed to be part of this summer at all, which was why Belly was like, this summer is different. She kept saying, this summer is going to be different because oh, her brother wasn't there. That makes so much sense. That is So Stephen's entire storyline was not in the books. That would have also been a shame because his storyline was also one of my favorites. Oh, Maybe my favorite. After, after everything was established, I think his might have been my favorite storyline. Really? Yeah. They did They did mention, and I thought this was a nice nod to the book. They were like, oh, yeah, you went on college tours last summer. And I was like, oh, okay. So I don't remember that. You, you nodded to the books. They were definitely you didn't talking follow. about college the whole time with mm -hmm. him. Like, he was talking about, like, oh, I want to go to Princeton. I want to go to Princeton. Did mm -hmm. he only want to go to Princeton because that's where Shayla was going? Oh, I have no idea. I couldn't figure it out because that seemed like a new thing in his mind all of a sudden, like going to Princeton. I, I have but no idea. maybe that was kind of more like his dream college in the beginning, but whatever. No, but I I remember thinking when they first kind of said like, oh, Steven's going to be staying. I was like, I think this will be interesting. I liked it a lot. You liked I Steven? loved having Steven there. Even okay. though they like barely spent any time together, I I really liked Steven's storyline. Okay, okay. Um, Conrad, they mentioned wait, that wait, he... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 okay. I think, I think... I think, um, maybe, maybe not. Go ahead. You say what you were going to say. Um, they mentioned that Conrad quit football. Okay. And that was accurate. And he also wasn't working that summer. I which definitely was also wondered accurate. why Jeremiah and Steven would have jobs at the country club and Conrad's just going to be bumming at home. That seemed yeah. weird to me. Well, okay. in the book, Steven wasn't there. Jeremiah had a job and Conrad did not. That makes slightly more sense. Yeah. But not even really. Yeah. Because Stephen having a job did make sense because his family mm -hmm. is not as wealthy. Yeah. Jeremiah having a job doesn't particularly make sense. Yeah. Especially if Susanna doesn't have a job. Well... <laughs> Your kid's gonna have a job and not you. Unclear what Susanna does. Paint, evidently. <laughs> and that pays the bills, clearly. <laughs> she only paints her kids once a year. <laughs> um... And what were you, what were you going to say? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know where, where this happened in the show, but there was this one moment where like Steven was in the shower, I think. And they were singing and, and the I boys. Was, yes. I love that Boy bathroom scene. time. We have girl bathroom time, which is, and it was exactly like that. But with the guys, I thought it was very cute. It was a very cute, that was a nice scene. And they did that a lot where they would take. Like, something that wasn't necessarily in the books, but wouldn't necessarily not be mm -hmm. in the books, that just added Vibe. this sense of realism. Yeah. Like, oh, these are real people, yeah. not just characters. And so I liked, I liked those scenes, like, scenes like that. that uh, and that one, one in of particular. one of my favorite scenes in the whole show, maybe. Mm-hmm. Because it was so cute. It was adorable. And, like, singing in the bathroom with friends is maybe the most best thing you can do in life. Mm-hmm. In my opinion. Yes. Yeah. Um, so then we find out Susanna got Belly an invite to the Deb Ball. <laughs> and when this plot line was dropped, I thought to myself, what the fuck? It wasn't in the books? Not at all. What? It seemed like the only plot point out of the whole show. Nope. Not in the books at all. There was nothing about debutantes. Wasn't even mentioned that that Why was a thing. Why did they do that then? Because I also, as a viewer <laughs> who didn't even read the books, I had a similar what moment when they said Deb Ball. I was like, what? This is where we're doing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't even know that wasn't book accurate. No. Wasn't in the books at Who all. Who came up with that? Zero percent part of her summer. Okay. So that was an interesting choice. I would love to know more about this choice and why yeah. they made this decision. 
Um, and then I would just like to take a moment to highlight the music budget. The songs were incredible. <sighs> like, <sighs> like I just... Every song was like a top hit. Yeah. Um, and re- like a recent one. Yeah. It was insane. I, I also remember thinking like, wow, there's a lot of good music in this, in this show. Yeah. I don't know. Lot. I don't know who their lawyers were that were able to get this. I don't know who was in charge of music, but congratulations. That Epic. was superb. Amazing job. job. Yes. You deserve a round of applause. Yes. Anyways. Uh, so then Belly goes for a night swim. And this is classic Belly. She goes for a lot of night swims in the book. She goes for a lot of night swims in the TV show, too. And, and I love I that. didn't get it. I was just like, mm, So it seems like a lot why? of the things that were book things, you just didn't understand. That's probably true. But I also may not have understood a night swim, even if I was reading it. Fair enough. Because I'm not much of a swimmer. Yeah. That's, you aren't. I don't Anyways. particularly see, I don't see the, you don't see the draw, but yeah. whatever. Um, but Conrad is out there smoking, smoking. a cigarette. Not a cigarette. Whatever it Pot. was. <laughs> and let me tell you, it was supposed to be cigarettes. Really? Yeah. Wait, did it really, like, say it was pot? I just thought he was, I don't even remember. I just remember him smoking. Belly mentioned it to him. She was like. Why are you smoking pot or something along those lines? Oh, I guess I didn't pay really close attention to what it was. I was just paying to attention to the fact that he was smoking and yeah. that really well, like it was supposed to be cigarettes as the dark horse in the show. Like very <laughs> um yeah. So and also she was supposed to swim first and then he comes out. Oh. So it threw me yeah, off a little bit that he was so just already weird. there. I, if someone was out brooding by the pool, smoking cigs and just being grumpy i don't (laughs) night swims in general already don't sit that well with me night (laughs) swims with an audience okay (laughs) you do you yeah uh but then she says you should quit he says what What will you you give me if i do and she says you should quit for yourself cock block yourself girlfriend okay (laughs) Um, but that was verbatim from the book, so I really liked it. Yes, I really loved that interaction because that's exactly how it happened in the books. I love that for you. I I was was so happy. I did made my heart so happy. It was a smooth, he was a smooth operator. Mm -hmm. That was a great line. However, I didn't see any chemistry between them yet, and I didn't feel like the flirting was very authentic. In fact, it was very (laughs) uncomfortable. Because I was like, oh, I was under the impression she's just pined after this boy for years and years and years. She has. All of a sudden, she shows up day one, and he's flirting with her like this? Okay. Fair enough. I don't get it. Fair enough. It's kind of like that in the books, to be honest. I don't like it. It's kind of like that in the books, too, so... Yeah, but at least Steven wasn't there. So, like, you're right, there was a difference. Yeah. This summer, it, and she had boobs, evidently. This summer, there was and no difference. And she took her hair out of a ponytail. Fair enough, that was a difference. And she wasn't wearing glasses. You're right. Three huge differences, people. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, so then Belly calls Taylor. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> she was not that close to Taylor in the books. In the books, Taylor was kind of a bitchy friend. Uh, I think that came across quite well in the TV show. I would agree with that. Yeah, but... (sighs) Belly didn't see her as a close friend. She Mm. saw her as, like, the bitchy friend that she didn't really want to be friends with. Oh, interesting. Because, so, okay. This is jumping ahead a little Mm -hmm. bit. Taylor makes out with Steven at that party. Yeah. That happens in a flashback. Really? Really. So that's why she's not really close to her? And so it drives a huge wedge between her and Taylor Mm -hmm. before they're even old enough for this, for this summer. I appreciate that then. That makes way more sense having that be a before thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think Taylor was fine. I'm sorry. This is going to be so rude. I just don't think she was very necessary they could have saved themselves the budget and just not 
included her, probably. Yeah, but I did I appreciate... I guess they needed someone for her to bounce off of. I did appreciate that they gave her a friend. You know, I wonder if the only reason they really did that was to give her a way to speak her internal monologue more. Although, wasn't the whole... Wasn't it narrated by her? It, there were a few points where it was narrated by her. I tended to I like know. those a lot. Those I voiceovers. did too, actually. Um, but yeah, she was never that close to Taylor mm -hmm. to the point that she would call her over the summer. She intentionally did not call Taylor over the summer right. because summer and was like Taylor her special came. place that Taylor did not come to. Right. Taylor came one summer in a flashback and never came again. Was it the same summer that she It was the same Steven, summer, yeah. Steven? And then mm -hmm. she never invited her again. And well, summer was like her special place mm -hmm. where Taylor did not come. Hmm. So, but I, I, I did, I did kind of like that they gave her a female friend. I like that they gave her a female friend. I just don't know that I liked that it was Taylor. Yeah. Because they didn't seem to have much in common. Taylor seemed to push her out of her, not out of her comfort zone in a good way. Yeah. Like pressure her mm -hmm. into not being herself is yeah. what I got from that. And that bothered me a lot. Mm -hmm. And, like, her mom made a lot of comparisons between Taylor and Belly's friendship versus Laurel and... Laurel and Susanna. And they're not, a, like, smidge bit alike. Yeah. They are on complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Absolutely. And that really bothered me. But Taylor, on that phone call, did say, Nothing will ever happen to you if you cry in your room in big t-shirts. And I said, that is really attacking me right now. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with crying in your room in big t-shirts, but whatever. But nothing will happen to you. <laughs> Maybe you'll heal. Maybe you'll learn a lot about yourself, okay? okay. Maybe it's not nothing. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So then they go to that bonfire. The, yeah. the first night bonfire. Fun fact, in the books, that was the 4th of July bonfire. Okay. So they just kind of shoehorned everything from the book into the first episode and just <laughs> condensed it. I remember watching that first episode and thinking, this could have been a movie with how right. condensed they just, just yeah. put it all in one. Um, hmm. But the, the random gas station guy flirts with her and Steven yeah. steps in and stops it. That felt in character, if not yeah. accurate. It was not accurate. That did not happen in the books. But it felt like it worked Well, because for Steven. Steven wouldn't have been there. Yeah, Steven wouldn't have been there, exactly. Uh, and Belly sees Conrad with who she calls Red Sox Girl. Okay. Because she was wearing like a Red Sox hat or it something. It was Nicole, yeah. It was Nicole, yes. And she confronts him. And this does happen in the book. Oh, that part was so awkward. I hate it. Because she's like, well, why are you with her? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, that happened in the book. Um, How embarrassing. Why? I wish I could remember why. <laughs> I think it was just because she was jealous. That's really something. Yeah. Um. I don't like that. And then Stephen tries to take Belly home, but Jeremiah's like, no, nah, no, nah, let her stay. Um, and I think that a very similar conversation did happen. Conrad's like, she needs to go home. And Jeremiah's like, no, nah, let her stay. Um, I just thought at this bonfire, the guy from the, like, sh the shop, the mm -hmm. um, gas station, and so far Conrad, like, everyone in the show is so forward. Yeah. And I thought it was a little cringe. Do people not, like, subtly flirt anymore? It's not about that prolonged eye contact <laughs> anymore. It's not a slow burn. <laughs> oh, it's definitely not a slow burn. That's for sure. Um, anyway, so then we cut to the moms back home who are smoking pot. Um, they smoked pot a lot more in the show than, than they, they ever did in the, the books. They only smoked pot the one time in the books. See, but I feel like it makes sense because she probably, it was probably medical marijuana. Oh, it was. Was it in the books too? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know, man. Um, but the, the relationship with Susanna and Laurel. Mm -hmm. Got so much more screen time than in the books yeah. because obviously Belly's living her own life. Her moms, their moms yeah. are living their own lives. Uh, and I thought it was so cute. It was so much cuter than in the book because we actually got to see it. Yeah. Um, and I, I loved that aspect. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. What did you think of Susanna Laurel and, Laurel? and Susanna's 
like whole storyline was mm-hmm. absolutely precious. Yes. I loved it. Loved almost every moment of it. Mm-hmm. I loved that they were able to still, like, I think what it, what it did for me at least is it made it seem not so scary to get old. Yes. You know? I would agree. Because they still seemed to have so much genuine fun Mm -hmm. that it, you know, like, I think some of us, me, get (laughs) a little bit afraid of getting older because Mm -hmm. it's like your life is over, but, like, they really just were able to live their best lives, even at that age, and they seemed to be having, you know, a super fun summer, Mm -hmm. and... And I just thought that was really cute, and I was really glad for that representation. Yeah. I feel so old, evidently. <laughs> just really <laughs> old. Um, but back to the party. Belly meets Cam. Cam Cameron. Yeah. And he introduces himself as Sextus, which I... Is actually how it was <laughs> sure in was. the books. Uh, I because remember... What, what happens is they have, like awkward eye contact for a little bit and oh, then see that's what we needed she she kind of goes over and he's like how do i know you and she's like oh i've i've been around here and he's like no that's not it she's like what about this and he's like no that's definitely not it and he goes latin convention i so like that so much better than him just coming up and being like flavia and sextus and i'm like what are these words <laughs> i don't yeah. know what you're saying that was definitely for the book fans and not for the TV show people. <laughs> I still think they could have just been like, where do I know you from? Oh, it's Latin convention instead of just jumping right in with Flavia and Sextus. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And also because I made, like, he said Sextus and she was like, oh, what did you just say to me? And I didn't like that. I didn't like it at all, especially because then he was like, no, 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 Latin convention. I'm actually just a nerd. I'm not trying to be Weird. horny. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but then we, Cam is, a, he calls himself a straight edge, and I did not like that they didn't use straight edge in the show, because that was a big thing in the books. Really? Because he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't do any yeah, of that, so he, he called didn't. himself a straight edge. And they didn't Interesting. include that in the show, which was a little disappointing, because they could have, because he was a straight edge. And he did say those other things. He was uh-huh. like, no, I don't drink. Mm-hmm. That was actually it. <laughs> I don't know what um, else he did. And then he also gives her his sweatshirt, and the sweatshirt was a way be- bigger thing in the book than in the show. I mean, that's like, a big thing when that happens to you. It's uh, a big thing. Like, at one point, like, they're talking on the phone. Mm-hmm. Or, I guess, talking on the phone nowadays. <laughs> Maybe the you're phone. the old one. <laughs> talking on the phone. <laughs> anyway, so they're talking on the phone. And uh, he says something like, oh, well, I want my sweatshirt back. And she's like, oh, well, you'll have to, like, pry it from my cold dead hands, essentially. Mm-hmm. And Sounds then they... Like- He comes over and they swim for it, and he lets her win so she can keep the sweatshirt. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That didn't happen. It was a way bigger thing in the book than in the show. Did they have a lot more chemistry in the book, or still no? Because I don't feel like she had chemistry with anyone. (laughs) But okay. I'm sorry. (laughs) I just spit everywhere. (laughs) That's just how I feel. (laughs) But he did seem like more her speed, Mm -hmm. for sure. Even, like, first meeting him, he was like... Her thing with Cam Cameron lasted way longer in the books, mm-hmm. and it was more real Yeah. than in the show. Yeah, it wasn't real at all in the show. Mm-mm. Um, and then... He oh, sorry, had a ahead. lot more in common with her. He mm-hmm. was really kind. Mm-hmm. He deserves a little better than her, honestly. Oh, absolutely. Cam Cameron She's does deserve a lot better. too blindly obsessed with Broody Boy. I couldn't remember their names <laughs> in the beginning, so they were just Broody Boy and Happy Boy. <laughs> Because I couldn't remember ever. They throw you so many new characters that you're trying to learn in one hour. I can still barely remember Belly. That's such a stupid name. It's because it's short for Isabel. There's so many. Is one Isabella? Mm-hmm. There's so many different better ways you can shorten Isabella. Oh, it's just Isabel. Sorry. Uh, okay, still. She still could have gone by Bella. Or just Belle. Or Bell's. All three of those would have been better than Belly. Don't like it. Yeah, that was an interesting choice on the author's part. <laughs> yeah. I also didn't Could love have been Belly. Izzy. She Iz. had a lot of options. I yeah, she had a lot of options. <laughs> and we went with Belly. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Was there like a backstory for that in the books? I figured. Uh, yes. What was it? It was that she really liked Jelly Bellies. 
And so her dad called her Jelly Belly, and then they shortened it to Belly. And it just stuck. I that. I figured she was a chubby kid. <laughs> she went with a chubby oh, face. so mean. That's <laughs> just what I imagined. Why can else would you imagine? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> so can I, because I literally had one. <laughs> <laughs> they used to call me the Michelin tire baby. <laughs> Cuz I had fat rolls. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> so she kissed Cam Cameron in front oh, of everyone. You're way ahead of me. You're jumping way ahead of me. Well, Slow down. Uh, okay. So then Conrad fights the gas station guy. Whoa, what? Why? <laughs> what do you mean? Why? Don't you remember, remember that? that? He did start a fight with someone in the books. It was not the gas station guy because right. the gas station guy was not in the books. Um, but I liked that he had more of a reason to hate this guy. Fair because enough. Because of Belly. Like, in yeah. the books, he just randomly fought a guy because he was drunk. Mm-hmm. And they actually kind of gave him a reason here. And I liked that. I So he randomly starts a fight in the first episode. Jeremiah randomly fist fights him in the last episode. Yes. Felt like it was pretty out of character for both of them to just start fights. Yeah. But I guess, I don't know. Did that seem... In- did he start more fights in the book? Was he a fighter? No. Okay. He just starts the one fight and he doesn't even actually fight the guy. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah talks him down. Yeah, that sounds more like what would happen. Yeah. So it... That frustrated me that he actually started the fight and that Belly got hurt. But Jeremy- Jeremiah breaking them up was accurate. Mm-hmm. Um, then Jeremiah takes everyone home. Uh, but then Cam kisses her in, in front, front of, of everyone, everyone, which did not happen. I hated that. I don't um, feel like Cam kissed her. I mean, like she kissed Cam and regardless, I hated it. That's well, so embarrassing when these guys are like your brothers and you just kiss another random guy in front of them all, including Conrad, who you love and are obsessed with for no good reason. Mm-hmm. And you're just going to kiss someone else in front of him. She's just doing it all for attention at this point. Uh, The way it happened in the books is she gave Cam Cameron her phone number. That's way better than kissing someone. And nothing else happened. That is way better. I guess she did give him her phone number in that moment. No, she didn't. No, I'm pretty sure she did. I'm pretty sure that's why he came up to the car. Because they exchanged phone numbers. No, because then later she gets his phone number at the... At the... Uh, Deb thing. That Deb luncheon or whatever. Oh. I thought they exchanged phone numbers and it was like something about the sweatshirt, but I guess I must be wrong. I don't remember, I guess. Weird. Um, but yeah, then, um, Jeremiah leaves the car and Conrad plays with her hair. Yeah. (laughs) He says, your hair is like a little kid's. The way it's always so messy. Interesting That's word accurate. choice. That's book accurate. <laughs> what a compliment. Yeah. You look like a child. Um, so it was it was an accurate line. It was an accurate moment at an inaccurate time. Mm. Because it was not supposed to happen yet. It probably shouldn't have happened at all. It was supposed to happen after this party. Gives but. Chimo vibes, especially since he seems like he's 18 and she seems like she's 15, but... Whatever. Uh, then the cops interrupt them, which was completely different. Cops were never, never at any parties. In the books. Um, and then Laurel snaps at everyone, and it gets pretty much brushed aside. Yeah, uh, she all does of that was make that comment that like, if your families weren't who your families are, you probably wouldn't have gotten away with this. Yeah, which I thought was kind of nice to at least like shed a little bit of light on privilege. Yeah, it it was. Uh, and then Belly goes down to the beach at dawn because she's about to go on the whaling boat with Cam. Oh, and she that was in into, this episode still. She bumps into, she bumps Conrad. into Conrad. I don't feel and like she really bumped into him. She kind of like 
sought him out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but she says that he can't smoke if she can't smoke. And that's like the end of Conrad's smoking. He's like done smoking for the rest of I never the even show. noticed that. He doesn't smoke again for the rest of the show. Hmm. And that bothered me deeply. Did he smoke in the books before or after that? Yes. He continued to smoke throughout the book. Hmm. Throughout book one. Okay. Um, so I thought that was kind of stupid. Uh, but then Belly goes to meet Cam at the docks. Um, she missed the boat. But she misses the boat, but that's episode two. Oh. So let's go on to episode two. 